How do everybody? Good morning. Buenos dias. Guten Morgen. Um, that's all the languages I know how to say good morning in. And it also just occurred to me that you may not be watching this in the morning. But regardless of when you're watching it, I want to say thank you so much for checking out this video. And Jeff, I got you, my man. Today is the day of the beard video. After all, my YouTube channel is called JB Beard, right? This is something I'm super excited about. This is something that um, I've been waiting to make videos on. Obviously, there is uh, lots of different uh, beard YouTubers and articles and brands and all kinds of different stuff. Uh, but today, I just want to bring you the products that JV Beard uses. So, let's get started. So, before I get started on telling you about the products I use, the routine I use, all that good stuff, I will say first off that if you have a beard or if you don't have a beard, hey, it's yours. And you should rock it no matter how short it is, no matter how long it is. It's just, it's your thing, it's your style. Don't let anybody ever tell you that, man, your beard is whack, just non-existent, or it's just, it doesn't look good. Because it is yours, and you rock it, and you kill it no matter what. So, just wanted to say that first off, and if you have any questions about anything related to beards, or products, or routines, or anything like that, you can find me on Instagram, or you can comment down below if you have questions. Uh, so yeah, let's get this thing started. So the first thing you probably think about when you think about a beard is beard oil. Maybe you think about that, maybe you don't. Like I said, I've done some research in this stuff. I'm not a professional in any ways, and all beards are different, but I will say that beard oil is definitely essential. No matter, even, even if you just take all of this stuff I show you today, and you just throw it out the window, at least use beard oil. I would highly, highly recommend. Now, as far as beard oil goes, or beard companies I should say, I tend to stick with beard brand. I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, this video is not sponsored by beard brand or any of the other brands I show you today. Uh, I simply just want to show you guys what I use. So obviously with beard oil, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about its, its primary function and then I'm going to show you the actual product that I use. So with beard oil, it's really to nourish your skin under your beard. And sure, it helps nourish like the actual beard hair and whatnot, but it's really the main thing you want to focus on when using beard oil is to actually get it under your skin. You want to really work it in. Um, some bottles will say, you know, if you have this length of beard, use one to two drops. If you have a longer beard, use three to five drops. Here's what I found. You can try that out, but ultimately it's what works for you. For me, I have a longer beard, right? Well, not the long S beard, but I have a longer beard. So for me, typically I can get it done with about eight drops. I personally think that is just the number for me. A lot of it has to do too with my beard is very coarse. Uh, my hair is kind of curly naturally. And so my beard hair is as well. So it takes a little bit more upkeep and maintenance. Beard oil primary function is to get in, in or I don't, I don't know how to say that. Basically it's to nourish the skin under your beard so that your beard hair continues to grow healthily, healthy, he healthy, healthy beard. I don't know. So right here, I just wanted to show you beard brand temple smoke beard balm. I don't know if that's too close or too far, but I will uh, rotate it around there real quick. This is my favorite scent from beard brand. Now beard brand, they have three of their silver line products, what they call it. They have three of their gold line products, or I'm saying products. What I mean is scents. I can't name off all of them right now, but Temple Smoke is my favorite. Um, the reason why is it's it smells really good, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't smell, uh, you know, musty or anything. It, it smells good, but in a, in a powerful kind of way. I really like the Temple Smoke. And so that's what I stick with uh, for the scent of all the products that I'm about to show you. So like I said, you can check out Beard Brand uh, down in the description below and you can see um, you know, if you wanna use their products. Like I said, I highly recommend that you do. But in the instance that you're not, let's say you're on a budget, right? I, I would then recommend Walmart, or at least my Walmart does, uh, they sell this brand called Cremo. Cremo also has a really, uh, 
uh, some really good products in there. Um, I'm not sure of all their scents, but again, I'll leave a description. But this this scent is bourbon blend, and uh, so yeah. So as you can kind of tell with my personality, I'm a little bit more of a uh, kind of relaxed kind of chill in a way. I don't know. I'm goofy sometimes. Since I kind of have that older soul about me, I feel like um, a lot of of those kind of just scents uh, go with my personality. And so anyways, I like really like the smell of this one. Also to mention, support local. Uh, this uh, beard oil or beard company, it's called Elaine's. They're based out of West Virginia actually. And in West Virginia, we have this thing annually, not this year, but we have this thing, it's called the Forest Festival. And what they do is they set up all their products. They have soaps and lotions and all kinds of stuff, but they have beard oils and beard products too. Uh, they are based out of Shinston, West Virginia. Um, if I can find their website, I'll link it down below, but if I can't, I'll try to type up something so you can find them and everything. Uh, but they have a lot of interesting scents. This one's called Frank and Mirth. I can't really explain what the scent is. Uh, you just have to smell it for yourself. They also have a lot of woodsy smelling, like they have some uh, one that's called Pine, I believe. They have one that I use that it's called, um, yep, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember, but it's a very woodsy smelling, which kind of is different than the other two I use because the Temple Smoke and the Bourbon from uh, Beard Brand and Cremo, they kind of have their own uh, special scent. That's another thing. It is your beard, and as you're taking care of it with your maintenance and everything, find your scent. And also find that if it matches uh, all together, if it matches like your cologne too, um, it, it tends to work itself all in one go. That is the beard oils, beard oils I prefer to use. Um, a quick side note before we get into the rest of the products, because I'm really just going to be showing them and saying a piece about them and moving on. Later on down the road, I'm going to be making a morning routine, which is going to include um, the use of all these products that I'm showing you today, as well as just kind of what my morning looks like. And so uh, if you're wondering how I use these products, that'll be coming when I, I do my morning routine video that will be posted under the beard playlist. Next up, we have Beard Balm. And Beard Balm, which it's uh, it's from Beard Brand, it's the Temple Smoke. It's it's called Utility Balm. It actually it does have a lot of different functions. You can use it. Um, what I use it for is to style my beard. So the oil is to nourish your skin under your beard. The Utility Balm is more for shaping. It's more for you know uh, not necessarily conditioning but it's more for getting your beard to go the way you want it to go so the utility bomb is great like I said you can use it on your beard you can use it as a pomade um, you know it has a lot of great uses to it um, I can buy one of these and I can use it for like four plus months like I really get a lot of use and a lot of mileage out of this um, which is why for me personally if if I can afford beard brand I always go beard brand the bomb and the oil and all the other products that I'm gonna show you are all Temple Smoke for me, that's my favorite. So they all mesh together really well to really bring the whole Temple Smoke scent into effect. The next thing I wanna talk about is sea salt spray. It comes in this bottle. Uh, it's again by Beard Brand, Temple Smoke. Sea salt spray, you just spray it right there, right? Um, you gotta get the idea, it's for your hair. Um, I've actually seen tutorials that some of the people from Beard Brand do with the sea salt spray and they use it in their beard. For me personally, I just use it for my hair. I just get a couple sprays in there. I work it in through my hair. Um, but it's, I mean, it's a styling tool, you know? Um, you shake it up so um, that all the, the liquid and the, I guess, salt, I guess that's why they call it sea salt spray. Uh, it really works in there. And then I just use a simple comb, like a $5 comb from uh, or hairbrush from Walmart. And uh, I just kind of flip it over. For me, my beard is, ten, is well, typically what I, I focus on the most, but having um, the good hairstyle with it is, is, is always nice. So with all of these things combined, you may be wondering, well, do you just work them in with your hands? Is, is that all you do? Well, not actually. So um, these are Cremo tools, uh, the, the brand Cremo. Beard Brand has awesome tools as well. Um, but for me, back when I couldn't really afford it, I just bought uh, these tools. It's a comb and a brush as well. One thing you do wanna make sure about your, uh, your brushes 
is that they are boar's hair um, and and not like something that's like silicone or something like this. You don't want to be taking like harsh brushes through your beard because it will tangle it. Um, it, it, it can destroy beard hairs. Um, it, it's not really good for it. So it's good to use more of a natural brush as compared to not. This comb, so basically what I'll do is with the oil, I'll work it in with this comb. This one I really like because it's got, it's got two different sizes of, of the, the bristles. I think I'm saying all that right. So uh, for me, what I'll do is I'll brush it with this one first, and then I'll flip it around and brush it with this side to get a finer um, brush through with the oil so that all of it goes to my skin, again, because it's supposed to nourish the skin. And then I'll apply you know, the utility balm, take this brush, and just brush it out, and it's all good. Uh, the Cremo stuff, like if you, buy, if you were to buy the brush, the comb, and the beard oil, and let's say even the beard balm, that would probably get you around 40 bucks uh, maybe a little bit after tax. Like I said, uh, you, you're gonna need tools when you're working with all of these different things to really up your beard game. And it really takes it to another level when you start to use these tools as well. Uh, Cause if you just work it in with your hands, I mean, that's fine and that's okay. Um, but I would really recommend that you get some tools as well uh, just to have a cool looking beard. Next up on the thing. So this is more pertaining to before i put all of this stuff in before the sea salt spray before the oil before the utility bomb uh when i'm taking a shower what i'll do is this is the temple smoke beard wash from beard brand and basically what it's used for is one let's say if you work really hard all day and you got dirt and you got sweat in your beard and stuff like that um obviously as the wash beard wash helps to really you know clean all that out and it gives you like a fresh slate like a fresh canvas uh, and it really just makes sure that you don't have any dust dirt or grime in your beard which I mean if you have a beard uh, you know that sometimes you know stuff can get stuck in it whether that's uh, food um, dirt you know grime whatever the case may be so you want to make sure that you start with a fresh slate before you put any of this stuff on you want to try to use the beard wash right before you put it in all these products um, if you can't, like I said, if, I don't know what kind of budget you're on, um, but if you can't, I mean, using shampoo isn't bad in your beard, but it's not preferred. Some of the chemicals that might be in just like, you know, regular shampoo, you want to try to go as natural as you can when it comes to beards to keep the hair healthy and strong. So the next product I want to talk about, this is the game changer for me. A quick side story. I used to go throughout the day. You know, I, I would do the whole routine of putting the oil in, brushing it, putting the balm in, comb it, or you know, whatever. Um, so I would get to the end of the day and my beard still really felt dry. It kind of felt like, man, I kind of felt like I didn't even put oil in it at all. This next product that I'm about to show you was an absolute game changer. And shout out to the guys at Beard Brand for helping me along this process as well. But it's the Temple Smoke Beard Softener. So beard softener acts as a conditioner. Let me tell you something. Ever since I started using this, I noticed I can go throughout the whole day, even if I got to do some hard work or you know I get dirt or grime or whatever in my beard. Um, I use the wash in the shower. I'll rinse it out and then I use the softener. This really puts a soft touch on your beard and it works really, really well. So when you combine all of these products together, it just really sets you up for success of having a nice beard. Like I said, uh, you know, depending on what kind of budget you're on, you might have to flex a little bit. I know that these companies, they all offer, you know, these um, different types of products, the oil, the balm, the combs, you know, stuff like that. So I will leave uh, links and stuff uh, in the description to all of these products. And if you want to go check them out, go check them out. Once again, I want to emphasize the fact that no matter what kind of beard you have, rock it because it's yours. And uh, have confidence in it. And know that no matter how big or how small or whatever it looks like, you rock it, man. So just want to encourage you with that. If you like this video, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to get used to this YouTube language. I don't know. Uh, share the video with a friend. Um, that maybe is looking for some beard advice. Uh, once again, if you have questions, comment or get in touch with me about it. And thank you so, so much for checking out this video. I hope it helped you and I will see you in the next one.